would you describe the season you're having so far? Um, I think definitely some of the performances, especially recently, haven't reflected the results we've been getting. Do you know what I mean? Like just little mistakes and stuff costing us points. Like especially you now Friday gone, a couple of penalties and a poor goal to give away then as well. Do you know what I mean? So I thought we played pretty well first half. So positives there definitely. You had a big show as well for a penalty in the second half. Were you surprised that it wasn't given? It was a bit, yeah, but sometimes they're given, sometimes they're not, do you know what I mean? So, not going to dwell on that too much. Like, I, like you obviously, like, as you said, like, last five nights performance, the first half was excellent. Are you seeing the progress that we're seeing on the sidelines and do you feel like you're improving week on week? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Especially since the Kevin Teeley game, I think we've been much better, like, defensively, like most of the time we're we're pretty good. Like the the pressing has been decent, and like especially on the ball we're doing a bit better as well. Getting a few more goals for ourselves, so it's definitely a a positive look on performances. Definitely just have to cut out a few mistakes. I'm back on against Bray now again on Friday. A decent team that you'll have in your sights if you want to to qualify for the playoff places. And what are you expecting from them now on Friday night? Yeah, Bray. We play Bray away. A few weeks ago, and they were pretty good. You know, we had a hard work on performance. It was, it was a well earned draw away from home. So hopefully, with the fans back in and stuff, and with us, our performances being better, a few week last few weeks, I think definitely we take, we we'll definitely look to get all three points. You know, and with the fans in back at Turners Cross, I mean, like, what difference has that made to you as a team going out onto the pitch? Ah, it's brilliant. You know, you're running out underneath the shed, and you hear all the voices and. All the chance and stuff is brilliant to have him back. You know? We were just talking to Colin there will ago, um, you know, about the, the frustrating part of it so far, it seems, for City is that, you know, you can't put together a kind of a 90-minute performance. Like, is, is that a big concern? Is that something you've been talking about as a group, that you need to see games through, you know? Yeah, definitely. You know, like, little mistakes, like, it's only, like, 10 seconds, you know? So, I think it's mm. just concentrating for the full 90 and I think then when we have, like, last few weeks we've scored goals and stuff, so I don't think there's going to be much of a problem that end. I think it's just cutting out small stuff, and I think the performances will definitely end up showing in the results then. Yeah. You, you know, what was the, the, the conversation like afterwards? I mean, and in, in training since, I mean, the, you dropped off a bit in the second half. Like, that was obviously frustrating, wasn't it? Because obviously it was a game there for the take, and he led at half time. Yeah, like, I thought we could have even been one or two more goals up at going into half time, you know. So it was a bit frustrating and then giving away a penalty after what a minute into the second half. Mm. It definitely knocked us back a bit, you know. So um uh, the second half performance wasn't good enough from us, you know, like if we played the way we played in the first half, even after conceding that penalty, I thought we would have definitely had the game won, you know. Like we said we had a couple of chances towards the end of the game as well for us to win it at two all, you know, so could have went either way, really. Yeah, the gap now, like from for yourselves, the fifth is kind, is kind of widening, and it's nine points now. Like, mm -hmm. is is there belief that uh, you know, Colin, we talked to Colin about, is there belief in the squad like that? If you can get a couple of wins, back to back wins, you know, that there's still enough football to, to get into the top five. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Do you know, if like we go on a run, we win two or three games in a row, we're back in it. So it's definitely within our sights, you know. Um, I think if you don't think that we can get back up there with the squad we have, like I think you'd be a bit mad, you know. Um, yeah. but there's definitely a, a lot of quality in here, and I think we're we're starting to show that now, in fits and starts, you know. Um, yeah, what do you expect against Bray? Obviously, you drew them back in April. They're all mm. they're, they're they're a sticky team anyway. They don't seem to, you know, give away goals too easy. So it's going to be another kind of tough battle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Every game we play is a battle now at this stage, you know. So. Um, Mm. I'm expecting from them what I expect every week is a battle first and then once we um once we scrap our way through it we should be alright. Yeah. And just the last one, like with with the crowds back, like you you've lost your two games at home with the crowds back, which is really frustrating I suppose. So, you know, you you would be obviously eager to put that right on Friday, you know, and get the fans behind you like and, and show that you're going in the right direction. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, I think we showed the fans first half, especially on Friday, that 
that we are a good side, you know, we, that if you're not looking at the table, you think we were higher up, you know. Um, mm. So hopefully we bring, we bring that first half and a bit more and hopefully do for, for the 90 minutes on Friday, get a nice win then. I'm just wondering, like, is there more confidence, um, we'd say, coming, coming after a decent performance last Friday night as compared to, we'd say, back to Kevin Teeley when, uh, a few weeks ago? When, like, is it easier for you to, 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 get, kind of, to get back into a positive mindset coming into Friday? Yeah, sure, there was a lot of positives coming from the treaty game, you know. Like, as I said before, it's mistakes are costing us. Like I thought, first half we were excellent. You know, we were all over Treaty and like we had the two goals. Could have had more, like, you know. So I think there's definitely a lot of positives within the group. And and, and in, uh, in the division as a whole, do you think, I mean, Shelburne are obviously well ahead of the pack. But I mean, is there any stand, like, have they been the standout team in, in your opinion? I mean, are they actually caught above everybody else at the moment? Um, I'm not too sure, you know. Like, I thought second half when we played Shells, it wasn't... There wasn't much in it. Like first first half they were they were good and we we weren't brilliant, you know, so um that was it was a tough first half for us, but I thought second half we definitely grew into it a bit more. And again, like it was a mistake for the second goal, so I wouldn't have said shells are a whole lot better than anyone else, you know. And 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 just finally, um it was good for yourself as well to get on the score sheet as well last week. Yeah, yeah, I'm delighted with it. But that's just the start of it, you know. Like it was tough getting on the score sheet and and feeling there was a better performance for myself and there was no win at the end of it, you know. So I think if I had scored and we had won, it would have been a lot sweeter, but that's something to bring you to this week. Have you got a target set? No, no, not really. Uh, every time I go out there, I feel like I can score or I can create chances. But the main objective of the team is to win, you know, so... Um, if my goals will help, that's brilliant. But as long as we get the win and I have half decent performance, it'll be fine.